Recently, I've been within a few conversations that explore what an emerging artist really is. The lines are a bit blurred now because of how fast artists' careers are changing. It's as if one day an artist is selling their work for four to 5000 at their local gallery, and the next thing you know, they've gone to auction with their work selling for $100,000. Their works are now being acquired by museums a lot quicker than typical. Now I can admit that although to the public it seems like things are happening overnight, this artist has been putting in a ton of hours, but in contrast, I think we could all agree that careers are moving much faster than traditionally known. I'm not complaining at all about this, okay? In fact, I think that it has been necessary to fast track careers and begin having specific works placed and acquired into private and museum collections. But because we have such a hard time determining what an emerging artist really is, we are here to talk about how to define an emerging artist and the possibility and exploration of there being tiers to that category, breaking that category down into one newly emerging, two growing or middle emerging, and three mature emerging. With each category, let's give eight to nine identifiers, okay? If the artist has 60% identifiers in a specific category, then let's go ahead and say that they are definitely, or they can definitely align with that level of emerging. In my opinion, this will really help both artists, institutions, collectors, understand what stage of emerging the artist is really in. I also think that this will help quite a summer price point and create an actual path for an artist. As a disclaimer, this is a reimagination of the word or term emerging artist. After you guys watch the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What's up, y'all? I'm Mariah Elise. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you've been kicking it with me for a while. On this channel, we get to deep dive into the art auction market, talk about the art world from my perspective, and I get to put you guys on game, educating you with all of the information I've learned. And of course, sharing updates with you guys with artists that I work with under at least our group in my everyday life. So let's start with the definition of emerging artists by Artsy, one I really align with and like. But again, we're here to explore and reimagine how we can break the emerging artists into tears. So Artsy describes the emerging artist as a general category for contemporary artworks created by young artists whose careers are on the rise. In addition to younger artists and newer work, the category also includes artists who are relatively under-recognized, but for the most part, considered on the path to critical and our market acceptance. While characteristically championed by smaller galleries and art fairs focused on younger artists, larger galleries and institutions regularly focus their energy on so-called emerging artists to define new styles and careers. Now that means, once you get into the later stages of emerging, larger galleries are focusing their energy on you to define a new styles and careers. Now, to me, that was still pretty ambiguous. It was closed ended in some areas, but open ended in others. And it aligned with the ideas that we don't really know. We can't really pinpoint exactly who all goes into that category or what an emerging artist really is and especially in this robust climate how do we make this a concrete definition or is there even a concrete definition right how do we tie down a definition within such an uncharted and unregulated industry keep noted that the breakdown i'm about to give you could be totally disrupted by unexpected things like social media cosigns by prominent collectors advisors are so on right don't forget that as much as folks don't like to admit, a part of your validation in these days is who knows you, who's following you on socials, and also understand that all artists won't follow this same exact path, and some will jump and skip between the tier identifiers. But always keep in mind, if you have at least 60% of identifiers within that specific category, that is likely where you are. Let's get into it. So let's subcategorize emerging artists into three. There's newly emerging, growing or middle emerging, and mature emerging. Now these are the eight identifiers that could qualify you as a newly emerging artist. One, they have local underground support from folks that really enjoy their work. Folks are taking notice of them, but their work isn't being widely collected. Two, they're being invited into large scale city focused group exhibitions. For instance, these exhibitions are curated to include 20 plus artists, but the exhibition itself hasn't been or may never be critically reviewed or written about. Now for clarity, we're not talking about those art shows that each artist has to sell 10 tickets to cover their booth fee, right? We are at the point talking about an invitational. At this point, they may have been recognized as someone who might grow into a growing or matured emerging. So the curator is getting their hands on them and says, okay, hey, I'm gonna help push you into that point. 
Three, they have hosted at least one successful independent solo exhibition where they have received support from local art community. Now, at this point, we want that support to at least extend beyond their family and friends. Four, they're invited to small exhibitions with other newly emerging artists. Five, their price point is between 500 and 1,000 and they're selling their work. They might not actively be selling to practicing collectors, but maybe selling to first time art collectors. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that this price point is very subjective. They actually aren't incredibly comfortable with their price point yet. Seven, they might operate as a semi full-time artist, meaning they may still work full-time or part-time somewhere else. And eight, at this point, they are no longer inspiring, but they are recognized locally as a working artist. Now I wanna make a note here. An artist may have a blurred line between newly and emerging. But again, as I mentioned, a few times if you have 60 percent identifiers within a specific category it is safe to say you're there now let's go ahead and get into what a growing and middle emerging artist is now growing middle emerging is the hardest here to get away from it's the hardest to graduate from in my opinion they have one gotten invited to smaller group exhibitions where they are showing their work next to other middle emerging as well as mature artists now, just so we can make this tier a little more concrete, this has happened for them at least two times. Two, they have a contact list of those that have collected their work. These patrons and collectors have now become supporters of their career. This collector list begins to include some of the practicing collectors within the city. Three, they move within their community freely and well recognized as an artist that has progressed within their career. Four, their practice is recognized as a career that can support at least 30% of their life financially. Five, five, it starts to begin to feel necessary to have a practice in studio, although they may not have necessarily given up their job. Six, they have received local grants, commissions, or residencies by arts organizations within their city or anywhere else. Seven, local galleries have heard from them and may even work with them on occasion. Number eight, they have had a few independent exhibitions. Each year, are each exhibition getting better with their work selling? Now, before we go ahead and get to matured emerging, I must say, if you wanna really stay in the know, you can click that link, that first link in my bio and go ahead and join my Patreon. If you join as an art enthusiast, you'll have access to, damn, I love that, which is a bi-weekly highlight of 10 works that I've run across over time that I have fallen in love with by emerging artists. As I'm curating this list, I consider not only how much I love the work, but how the artist's career is growing, price point, and recent impact. Along with this, you guys are gonna also have access to a monthly column written around the topics of collecting art, exhibition reviews, and many topics I may not have the time to record and edit an entire video around. It's only seven bucks a month, and once we hit 150 members, I'm gonna start a community that will allow us to talk with one another. This will allow collectors to talk to collectors and artists to talk to artists about experiences so that learning isn't so isolated. Now let's go ahead and get back to it. Our third and final tier of Emerging is matured emerging. Now they one, have the interest, support, and inclusion by local institutions like the Contemporary Arts Museum in that city. Number two, they have interest, support, and inclusion of large arts organizations within their city and beyond. Three, their local galleries, they're prioritizing them. Four, their work is largely collected within their local community. Five, their work is beginning to be collected at a faster rate, domestically and internationally. Six, they are still under-recognized, but for the most part, considered on the path and our market acceptance, just like Arcee says. Seven, they are still championed by smaller galleries and art fairs and focus on local artists. Again, just like RC says, but mentioned and spoken about enough times for larger galleries to start recognizing them. Now in this, I also want to note that again, just like RC says, while they are characteristically championed by smaller galleries and art fairs focused on younger artists, the larger galleries and institutions regularly are focusing their energy on this so-called emerging artists to define new styles and new careers, okay? At this stage is when you start getting recognized by these institutions and galleries and considered to maybe a part of the next generation of artists. Number eight, they're comfortable in selling their work consistently at this price point at their price point and number nine they may even have appeared in auction with some success now i want you guys to keep in mind that this is a helping factor for me to personally recognize what stage of emerging artists these artists are actually in instead of lumping them all into one 
some might disagree some may agree some may consider newly emerging and aspiring artists i don't know your thoughts but i would love to know your thoughts i really can't wait to hear what you guys think so we can start refining what an emerging artist actually is now before we go i also really want to continue to encourage you guys to both artists and collectors to give Artwork Archive a try. Artwork Archive is an art inventory platform that artists use to track their artwork, showcase their portfolio, and grow their business. Artwork Archive was built to give artists, collectors, and organizations a better way to manage their art. Now, I personally rely on Artwork Archive to keep me organized on who collected what, contact information, information on works like prices, dimensions, descriptions of the pieces, medium, and so on. It also allows me to quickly create PDFs as well as portfolio reports to send to collectors. It makes my job way easier, super easy. Remember to always count on you, and I'm talking to both artists and collectors. Never stop looking at art. Never stop learning about art. Subscribe with me if you vibe with me. Like, and also don't forget to let me know in the comments your thoughts around my breakdown of their emerging artists. I really enjoyed thinking about this video and can't wait to hear your thoughts. Love to you all. Thanks for sticking with me and watching until the end. Peace.